to me, this is the best tip. That is, you come to New Haven, you go to maybe two or three pizzerias, and then you come over here to Christopher Martin's and have a white Russian with you. <laughs> well, when I was a kid, we, we didn't say pizza. Abits. 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 And that's what you say to the people. I'm gonna go out and get me one of these hats and shirts when I get back to Brooklyn. Betcha. Here, we're quick to correct me. Oh, Abitz. 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 Abitz is unique to New Haven. There are six nationally ranked pizzerias within a five square mile radius, so it's no wonder that this city is known for its pizza. From the tomato pie, traditionally topped with fresh tomatoes, a light dusting of aged grated cheese, garlic, olive oil, to the white clam pie, made popular by Frank Peppy and made possible by New Haven's proximity to the Long Island Sound. Whether you're walking down Worcester Street past Sally's and Peppies or hanging out with a true New Havener, one thing is clear. This distinct style tells the rich history of the city. There's no better place to begin my visit than sitting with the longest running mayor of New Haven, John DeStefano Jr. So what is Abitz? Well, New Haven style Abitz is very easy. It is flat and thin. To me, it is cooked a little bit more than someone else's. It is not ladled with cheese, and it doesn't have next Tuesday night's meatloaf dinner on top of it, if you if you will. It's by its simplicity, authentic and real. I've heard a lot about New Haven Abitz, but I've never actually tasted it. The dough, it's all fermented, nice, it's all crispy. I have to say, I, I am surprised that this is my first trip to New Haven. I've heard a lot of people talk about it, but being from New York, you're skeptical of everything, right? You think that New York has the best pizza. You've been told that your whole life. There's no way there could be another city in America that has the kind of culture that we have. But they do. The ovens are incredible. Like, you don't see this many ovens in New York. This old style of coal ovens in every pizzeria. Really, like, the most surprising thing is how long all these pizzerias have been open for. It's like, it seems like the average age of all these pizzerias is like 70 years. <laughs> the roots go really deep. This is, a, this is a pizza town, there's no doubt about it. The pizza culture here runs deep. Why is that? Abitz to me is a family. My father was a cop in New Haven on Friday nights. I knew that I could stay up when I was a little kid because my dad would always at 11.30 come home with a pizza from Sally's. <laughs> and that's what Abitz was. When you say a place like Sally's, I remember Sal. I knew Sal first. The true measure of accomplishment in New Haven was having a secret number at Sally's. For most, up until recently, there were two phones. There was the phone that was listed in the phone book. It was always off the hook. And then there was the other line. And if you've been around a long time, you got the secret number. Now, the secret number entitled you to call Sally's when no one else could get through and be able to order your pizza. Now, I got the secret number before I became mayor, so I take that as a single standard of accomplishment in my personal and professional life. There's one guy in town who's the oracle of New Haven history, especially our beats history. Colin has dedicated his life to researching and preserving pizza relics from the last century. My house is like a ghost village. <laughs> He's using these materials for an upcoming book chronicling New Haven and American history through pizza. These are all actually atlases and maps of New Haven. Um, this is from 1901. Wow, man. Um, there's like probably 8 million colonies of mold living in here, so careful. <laughs> you can see right here, here's Worcester Street. Worcester Street's history is related to the Italian immigration here. It's the remnant of the old Little Italy, 1892, up in New Haven. Italian ladies worked in the corset company, the, a lot of the men worked in the rubber company, the hardware company, and they ended up actually getting pizza delivered to them. Interesting, so sort of like the pizza delivery started first, yeah. rather than people actually going to the bakeries or going to the pizza. Exactly. Oh, yeah. People like Frank Pepe and other guys would come out with their pizza and pedal it. I got some old matchbooks, and this is from Sally's, and this is the menu probably from the early 60s. So if you wanted a small cheese and tomato, that was just Romano with sauce, or what we call sauce, they call it cement tomato, mm -hmm. it was 50 cents for, and for the whole small pie, and he wanted a large $1.50. Mm -hmm. Telephone books are another resource. This one from 1947, New Haven Directory. Here you got Frank Pepe's ad, and he was called Old Reliable. That's what he was known as. 
You don't visit New Haven when I go to Frank Peppy's on Worcester Street, the oldest pizzeria in town. This is the home of the White Clam Pie, which has been ranked as the best pizza in America. There are eight Peppy's locations in the U.S., but I went to the original on Worcester Street. I met up with Gary Bamonte, Frank Peppy's grandson. Just watch the pizza. Don't worry about what's behind you. Of course I want to learn about the pizza, but I'm also really excited to get to know the family behind the legend. My sister's one of the servers here. She's been here probably, I don't know, 25, 30 years. Hurricane Gloria came, and I was home, and the eye of the storm was passing over Connecticut. And my mother called me up and she goes, Genevieve, you get down here and help run this business. You come on, we're open. When I came down, I had to help my mother open the business. We had no lights, and my brother Gary and my uncle, and my uncle Ralph were using a flashlight in the oven. Pizza never stops. How do you describe, like, uh, Frank Pappy's pie? My grandfather's from the Naples region, so it's a Neapolitan-style thin crust. Crispy, chewy, you know, that's the whole thing with the, uh, the oven. This is the original plain tomato pizza, and this is our nationally acclaimed clam pizza. I can't wait. Thank you, Gary. Oh, Thank you for having me here. Oh, I'm excited. Our, my pleasure, and it's our family's pleasure. So in New York, we do the fold. You guys do the fold oh, yeah, here, too? Absolutely. Right. That's the way to do it. Now I know what all the fuss is about. <laughs> this is amazing. Here with these cool ovens, I mean, this is some of the best color of pizza I think I've seen. This is the original oven. This one was from like the uh, late 1800s. There's the fire. Yep. It heats the heart. entire yeah, chamber. It's open hearth. Open hearth. Yep. Wow. Magical things happen in the oven. So how long have you been in the pizza game? In the pizza uh, 40 world? years. Yeah. All my life. Was it your first job? Yeah, basically. Yeah, it was my first and only job. I went to a technical school, and I wanted to be an auto mechanic. My mother said, no, I want you to work with your brain, not with your hands. I took electronics. I did okay. I started working. And that That's was it. it. The rest yeah. is history. This pie is amazing. Mm -hmm. I really, really like it. Fresh shut clams. You can taste, like, the brininess. You yeah. can taste the garlic. The oregano. It's really, really nice. These clams have a nice, sweet flavor. Yeah, they definitely do. We shuck about 80 to 90 bushels a week just in this location. Wow. So we actually had to get a couple of different suppliers, mm -hmm. but they all take from the specific beds that we want them to take from. And is that like all local beds? Yes. Incredible. That's all I can say. <laughs> Great, yeah. That's all I need to know. I'm making a pizza at Frank Peppy's right now. It's like a dream come true. Is this pizza done? I don't know. Apparently, I need another 20 years. <laughs> this is a pro's pizza. This is somebody, maybe I just need a little more time. Yeah, some come out like that, too. <laughs> so don't worry about it. <laughs> Thanks for making me feel better. Oh, please. This is a beautiful guy. When I was making the pizzas, yeah. uh, it was it was a, a good feeling. I love working the oven. Yeah. The oven man can make you or break it. We figured it out that I was on the bench myself. We call it being on the bench, banging out the pies right. for uh, 12, 13 years straight. That I banged out 1.2 million pizzas. Wow. So that's insane. Yeah. That's insane. <laughs> you got a good pizza hand. <laughs> All those years in the pizza kitchen making pizzas. Yeah. What do you do to blow off steam? I blow up to a couple of car clubs. I, I'm a little bit of a speed freak. Car people. They're just like, like like pizza people. Yeah. What's up, fellas? Bunch of my friends. Right, hey, Tommy, thanks for coming Jim. up. What's up, Tommy Frank? This Motley crew makes up blood, sweat, and gears. One of the many car clubs Gary is a member of. I saw Marvin this once. Racing cars is Gary's escape, but the pizza always finds a way into the equation. Can we see the helmets? Yeah, absolutely. My friend did this one. I go, just, you know, put something together. Whatever you want to do. And he came up with this. So that's why I call the car pizza time now. Can I run to the wall, Gary? <laughs> The guys wanted to give me a ride in Gary's car, which is the Chevy Nova 72 at 600 horsepower. I won't kill you. I'm ready. <laughs> well, 
my 20 years, baby. I love it. I think I want to get me one of these. <laughs> the New Haven community is very close-knit. Whether you're chilling with the Blood, Sweat, and Gears crew, or you're going to the local pizzeria. My next stop is Zuparty's at Beats in West Haven. Run by two sisters, Lori and Cheryl. Zoops is a family heirloom. Originally run by their grandfather and then by their mother and father, the sisters have preserved the family tradition of making really great pizza. This is my sister Cheryl. We Cheryl. Cheryl. Hi. And she probably can tell you more of the history than I can because she's a lot older than me. <laughs> Here's where it gets right. a little complicated. This is where it gets exciting. This is Cheryl's oldest son, Craigie. This is Lad, adopted family, Ivan and Omar. What's up, All adopted nice family you. right here. I, nice My son you. Jimmy. I, I love it. Everybody here is family. She's What's like the, the dynamic one. between? It's like good cop, bad cop. <laughs> good cop, bad cop. I, I like that strategy. It works I was well. By my father. That's oh. different. Our personalities are totally, totally different. And ironically, Cheryl and I live next door to each other. Not that we don't work well together. We actually do. You want to know what the favorite part is? When a customer walks in and goes, whoa, you're both here? <laughs> Usually when we end up working together, He's it's because back. I'm in the back making pizza. Frank, nope. we're ready for you. All right, ready for you now? I'm making it all things fresh. You are certainly a regular back here. Well, you got the way of doing it. How old were you when you made your first pizza? Ten years old. Ten years old. You remember it? At this board, yes. My father would be on one side, I'd be on the other. And he taught me ovens, everything, and I did it. And is a sausage pie one of your most ordered pies? Or? Yes, our most popular. A little bit heavier, or does that look good? That looks good. Okay. Just got to get the edges. Got to get the edges. The first bite has to be good as the last. Oh, that's a good one. There you go. Now, that has to cook a little longer, and we're going to put fresh moots on it. And then put it back in, and then you're going to eat it. Sounds good to me. Okay. Just watch your fingers. See, that's, I went right into my hand one day. Oh. How is it? Are you it's surprised? Well I've made pizza with a lot of people, a lot of people that I look up to, but I think that was my favorite moment. Really? Thank yeah, you. It really was. I don't know if you consider yourself a chef, but you are a chef at heart. The way you talk about food and the way you understand it, the way you work with your hands, how clean you are, always keeping your hands clean, and you just, you know, I, I've worked around a lot of cooks before, and you just are a cook. Thank you. So parties at Beats is notably different from the others I've tried so far. But it's roots in classic Italian baking. This part reminds me of a great loaf of bread. This makes a lot of sense because Lori and Cheryl's grandfather trained as a classic baker and their father carried on the tradition. I want to carry on his legacy is what I want to do. He worked very hard for it and so did my mother. I kept his tradition. I did what he did. I still buy the way he did. In fact, one of our buyers two weeks ago said to me, it's like talking to your father when I talk to you. They use Baker's Pride gas ovens here, not coal ovens. And they still make their pizza the same way their grandfather did. So your Aunt Cheryl was just telling me that the special pie here that you guys are known for the sausage pizza. Yes, it's typically about 12 inches. We wear ours out to about nine and a half ounces. So it tends to stick to your fingers. You're grinding your own sausage every day. You grind your own meatballs every day. You guys gr grating all your mozzarella. Yeah, we buy the loaves of mozzarella, we buy the wheels. So you're doing uh, it the hard way. You're not you're taking anything out of a bag. No, absolutely not. You get all that cornmeal out. Yep. And, you know, once you create a mess, you use a mess. Yep. I hate like when cornmeal gets like a little burnt, but you guys solved that problem with this. Yeah. I've never seen that before. I know. Most, most people think it's pretty unique. That's it. Amazing. Amazing. What's the pie? Is it parties? Sure can. Your last name, please. Okay, be about 20 minutes. My father got married um, in 49, married my mother. She worked alongside with him. They bought this building, but my father gutted it himself. It was a laundromat. Mm -hmm. Gutted it, got it ready, opened it up in 63. So that's how long we've been here. Wow. But before that, in the right back. Right next door, right in the right back. Right next door, in the back. Um, our, some of our older customers, older, older, remember that back. Yeah, yeah. And they remember coming in. And that's how the legacy started. In the early days, we worked. We worked, we had fun. Sometimes we didn't want to be here and we were here. Always remember my mom and dad working along with us. 
making us work. <laughs> so everybody it's pitches Italian in. Way. Is there something else that you recommend? Like if a customer walks yeah, in here, what do you say? Fresh clam. Make them a fresh clam pie. You guys go through the trouble of shucking the clams. Well, I can chuck clams, too. Uh, I bet you can. I don't doubt that for one second. Me and Lori can chuck them pretty quick. Yeah. 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 Y
Cheers. Cheers to you. Najlepszego. Najlepszego. Oh, you said it good? Yes. Cheers to you, baby. Do this like the old Italians used to walk, right? Well, this has been an eventful evening. Sure has, huh? I wish this, my niece would be out so you could meet her. Well, I'm going to ring the bell. Maybe she'll come out. Henrietta? Please come out. Come on. I got to go to the parish council. Come on. Oh, get ready for this. How are you, Henrietta? Nice to meet you. Hi, nice I'm to Frank. meet you also. We have, a full crew. We have a, a crew with us. Oh, what are you doing? Come we, on. We met your, your darling aunt down at the bar. Oh, how could you not want to be with Wait you? a minute. Oh, it's we're so proud of her. And everybody says, this is who we want to be. This is who we aspire to be. Live life to the maximum. Uh, Don't let age. Spirit is what counts.